Well, it seems that FSR 3 frame gen in Silent Hill 2 Remake is completely broken right now. This fix should work on any device, RG Ally X, RG Ally, Steam Deck, Gaming PC, anywhere where you can access your folders and files. If it helped you, just hit like and subscribe. Thank you. First, open your file manager, click on this PC and then open your C drive. In C drive, just open users folder. Inside users folder, find your profile name and click on it. Inside here, you should have update a hidden folder. If you don't see it, click on these three dots, go to options, go to view, and make sure option show hidden files folders and drives is selected. Hit OK button and open update a folder. Open local folder. Here just find and open Silent Hill 2 folder. Folder saved, config, folder windows. And inside you will need to find the only file with the name engine. Make sure this file has the gear icon next to it. Then just open it with the notepad. You will see lots of different commands inside this folder, don't touch them at all. The only thing you will need to add just word in word like I have here. In the brackets system settings and below r.fidelityfx.fi.enabled equals 1. I will also will keep it in the description of the video so you can just copy it to your ini engine file. Once this is done, click save and then you can exit this file. And let's go to TSR first and see the real FPS. And real FPS is 38, 50. Okay, that's not bad at all. 51, 45, 41, 38. This is lowest possible setting 720p and we at 37, 42, 41 FPS. We definitely need frame gen for this game. And now let's see if FSR 3.0 is actually working right now. And it is fully fixed. As you can see, we're at 84, 85 FPS, 83, 77. It's going down again a little bit, 73. But this is more than playable. Now you can enjoy this game on your handheld. Low latency, great FPS. Still looks quite decent. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in next one. Bye.